Hello guys, so this is the Realme 3 or Realme 3i and I have successfully flashed custom ROM in this phone without using the official unlock boot order from Realme okay maybe some of you guys already saw my previous video so I have test to do unlock boot order and wait for 10 days but it failed seems that Realme already closed their server so in this video I'll show you how to bypass the unlock boot order using the unofficial ways and flashing custom recovery and also flashing custom ROM okay make sure to follow all the steps to avoid uh mistakenly break your pawn okay we don't want to do that <laughs> so the file and step i will provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay so stay tuned and check it out hello guys assalamualaikum meet again with tom bob and today i have the realme 3 and <coughs> in this video i will show you how to bypass the unlock boot order flash custom recovery and also flash custom rom in this one okay and maybe some of you guys already saw my previous video the two previous video that I have tried to unlock the bootloader and wait for 10 days or more but still I cannot uh, done the bootloader okay so basically the server the real me server is off so we cannot do the official ways okay <clears throat> so we must do the unofficial ways and let's get started okay first thing i want to show you is the current system okay media tech hello p16 realme uh sorry i don't know why this dev check always close okay android 10 and uh, let's go to the system <coughs> and you can see right here realme 3 uh, realme y version 1 android 10 and it's using the version number c22 okay <clears throat> so we're going to test to the system i haven't test for the other stock firmware so i will assume you're having this one okay if you're not you can roll back if you're already on the <clears throat> android 11 or realme y2 you can roll back i will provide the file okay First, let's enable the build number. Go back and find the additional settings. Apple upper option and make sure <coughs> to enable the. Sorry, the so I'm unlocked right here. Okay, done. And next, you must uh, don't forget to remove all emails otherwise uh, you will get stuck okay uh, we're done now let's turn off the pawn okay so now we're, we're in the desktop and this is all the file we needed and this is the step okay i will provide all the step and file in my blog you can check the link in the description box Okay, first thing you need to do is we need to disable the Windows Defender. Okay, let's open it. First protection, manage settings, and turn it off. Okay. <clears throat> we should turn it off because these tools that we're going to use uh, is read virus in the Windows. Okay. So I have used it and it is safe, but if you're not certain feel free don't use these tools okay <laughs> next uh you need to install the driver yeah this is the driver just open it the deep uh win through the default filter blah 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 just next next and you're good to go 
and <clears throat> the third one is SP thresholds. We're going to use the first one five point one nine twenty four. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, now let's open the tools. Let's call it open tools. Okay, and okay, now let's go to the MTK Universal right here and select the unlock bootloader. Okay, waiting for the device. Next step, you need to press the flow map, follow down at the same time, and then <clears throat> plug the USB cable. Okay, let's try it. done you can see right here out bypass successfully okay so our device has been unlocked and let's go back next thing i want to do is uh disable the sle okay sle dash da and block hp cable <clears throat> Hit this button and we're going to uh, connect the pawn for the second time okay like before press volume up volume down and then block the usb cable okay but first thing you need to do is you need to turn on the pawn okay and when the pawn rebooted quickly switch uh when the pawn rebooted we must uh Force reboot the pawn by pressing volume up, volume down, and power button at the same time. Okay. And here we go. We now have successfully uh, bypassed the out. Okay. Now let's put down the pawn. Okay, nice. Now let's close this one. And let's open the SP Flash tools right here. Just hit OK and select the download agent. You can use the empty call in 1DA from the folder, the SP Flash tools. Open it. <clears throat> and we also need to schedule a uh, loading file. Okay, so I have prefer this one. Uh, just copy and paste the folder and hit this button right here and paste it. Okay, <clears throat> I'll select the scatter. It is the MT6771. Uh, okay, <clears throat> and then we need to go to the other tab. Where is it? Uh, <clears throat> okay, this one step. Make sure the connection to the URT right here. So, uh, set up connection. Option connection URT. Select your port. Okay, you can check the port from the device manager. Uh, okay, this one and check your port is here. Okay, our media tech USB port is COM 14. Let's select the COM 14, select the boat rate. Uh, we're going to leave this one. Hey, <clears throat> and then we need to activate the right memory, so press Ctrl Alt and V. Okay, Control Alt V. Yeah. You will see another menu right here, right memory. <clears throat> From here, select your custom recovery. Okay, uh, where is it? The custom recovery. We got. Uh, let's find it. Uh, Android uh, Realme, where is it? Realme 3 
Okay, we're going to use the orange box right here. Let's copy the pad. Hit the file pad right here. Paste it. And select the orange box. Okay, done. <clears throat> now we need to <clears throat> write the address, the hex address. So we can get this address from the scatter file. Okay, just open the scatter file that we have right here. Can open it. Okay. From here, just find recovery. Okay, just search find type recovery. Next. And we will find the. <clears throat> The hex address right here. Okay, the linear start address, same as the physical start address. Let's copy this value and paste it to the, in here. Okay. This is for the realme 3 and realme 3i. If you have different device, it will have different uh, hex address. Okay, for example, <clears throat> for realme 5, realme 6 may be different. Okay, maybe I will provide the scatter for you also in my blog. Uh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> mm, okay. What else? And next step, the sit right memory right here, and wait until it's finished. Scale right memory, one hundred percent done. Okay. You can close this one. And let's uh, let's switch back to the pond. Okay, we're done. Now let's unplug the USB cable and let's try to put it into the custom recovery. Okay. Uh, you can boot it into the custom recovery by pressing the floma down and the power button at the same time. Okay, uh, let's wait. You will see. Recovery mode right here. And here we go. Okay. <laughs> now we have a uh, working custom recovery. Okay. Nice. Without unlock the bootloader. Let's wait. Yeah, it usually takes time. And now let's try to flash uh, custom ROM. Okay. Navigate to a uh, File tab right here. Find where you have a file. I put it into the micro SD. Find a folder. Uh, sorry, before we do that, let's go to the wipe tab right here. Select Delphic Data Cache System. Swipe it. Okay, forgot. And let's hit home. Go to the file folder. And select your custom ROM. We are going to use the Pixel Plus UI. I already made the video about uh, installing custom ROM on the Realme 3 3i. So we'll skip this one and let's continue after it finishes. Uh, this ROM is already included gap, so you don't have to install gaps again. And now it's done. Let's hit the home button and go to the wipe tab again. Select format data and we want to format the data one more time just to make sure. Okay. And after it finish, just hit boot, hit reboot system. And let's wait. Okay, hopefully we're going to have a working custom recovery on this one. Replacing the realme UI that very really lack on this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh, now you can see we have the pixel. What is it? The ROM, I forgot. The pixel OS ROM showing the boot logo. Okay, uh, let's skip this one. Okay. Uh, God, usually it takes time. I will show you when we are in the home screen. And here we go. Now we are in the home screen. So I have installed several apps. Just to make sure that everything is running fine, okay. So you can see right here using the dev check Realme 3 Android 11 on 
MediaTek Helio P16, the total RAM, storage, you can see right here. I will not cover this custom ROM. Okay, maybe next time. Feel free to use custom ROM that you like. Okay, that's all. I hope it helps you. I hope you don't skip the video to avoid uh, mistakenly break your pawn. Okay. So the step and file I will provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. And if you feel helpful, if you want to, you can buy me a coffee. There is a link for the PayPal and Saveria for Indonesian friends. Okay, that's all guys. Take care. See you in the next video. Assalamualaikum.